Hello folks, my name is Fred. I live in upstate New York and welcome to my shop. It's the winter of 2015. Very snowy here in upstate New York and one of the ways I keep busy waiting for spring and getting outside is to build small engines. It's a hobby of mine. I started it about five years ago. And what, what you're looking at here is a, re, a quarter scale version of a 1945 engine that was offered by the Thompson Engine Company. It's a single cylinder engine, four cycle. It's got a one inch bore and a one inch stroke. It's nine inches high and roughly six by six. It has a cast iron sleeve that's provided in the, in the uh, casting kit and I added two cast iron rings to the piston to improve compression. It's got a single lobed uh, camshaft here that operates the exhaust valve and you can see that running here. I'll run it back and forth a little bit. The lobe is here, runs up through the push rod, runs the rocker arm and opens and closes the compression or the uh, spring on the exhaust valve. Uh, the intake valve it has no cam. It's opened by the suction of the piston on the intake stroke. The suction when the piston goes down it draws the, the intake valve down on the spring, pulls in air and a mixture of gas and uh, gets it into the cylinder that way. The fuel tank which is all over here is uh, filled with Coleman fuel, Coleman lantern fuel, and a couple drops of Marvel Miracle Mystery Oil. Uh, it's pulled up through here. There's a, a uh, check valve in the bottom. Pulled up through here through this, which is called in the nomenclature of the day a mixer. Mixes the gas coming in with the air. It's a quarter inch right there. That's the needle valve, which and uh, gets sucked into the intake. Here's the, the ignition is a coil. This is a coil off of an ATV. 12 volt system, old school, no hall effect here. Points are here. This is a ballast resistor. Let's see if we're still in frame. Yeah, a ballast resistor to reduce the, uh, the current draw on the engine. Condenser. Uh, it took me about a hundred hours to make this engine from scratch. I've built a lot of other engines in the, in the past, uh, but this is one I first from a casting kit. I built scratch, scratched built steam engines. You can check out my, out my channel if you are interested in those. And it's the first engine I built from a rough casting kit. There were a number of new machining processes for me because I had never built a casting kit. There were a number of jigs and uh, fixtures that had to be built, but I did enjoy my time time building it and just just took my time with it. It took about 10 hours to break in after I built it. What I did is I put it on this little jig right here, which is nothing more than a 12-volt a motor with a little pulley on it. And I, I bolted the engine down here and had a rubber band that ran from here around the flywheel back there and I ran it without the piston uh, for about four or five hours just letting the bearings seat the piston ring seat in the sleeve etc. Um, I had a couple of problems with it initially but I'll tell you what Bob Herder uh, was a godsend when it came to answering questions I emailed him and he really quickly got back to me had a small issue with uh, the check valve and the, and the fuel tank and I uh, during the break-in period uh, the wrist pin on the sil on the piston migrated to one side and it it wore a, a, a groove in the in the cast iron sleeve this is the cast iron sleeve that goes into the cylinder right but he recommended uh, a part number from McMaster Car, so I bought uh, a chunk of steel, uh, malleable, easily machinable cast iron, 
and made a replacement sleeve. And then what he recommended is to cut down the wrist pin just a little bit, make it a little shorter, and then put two little discs of Teflon, one on each side of the wrist pin, so that in case if the wrist pin migrates, the, the Teflon will touch the edge of the, the liner, not the, the wrist pin. I thought that was a brilliant suggestion. Um, final thoughts here. Build was really straightforward, but there were some challenging points. The plans were full scale, and that really helped me. Of course, having Bob, uh, Bob available on the email was very reassuring. The castings, the uh, brass casting, the head, upper body, upper cylinder body, the lower base, uh, the flywheel, all first rate castings. There were no hard spots or voids. Um, and, and it just machined beautifully. So here's the flywheel. Here's the starter. The, the, uh, the, uh, that's all wonderful. For the starter rope. And what we'll do is we'll, uh, I'll, let me catch this phone and I'll uh, be right back and we'll start it up. Okay, sorry about that. We're back. Uh, while the camera was off, I, uh, secured this little platform down to the bench with a couple of three screws because it does like to, to walk around. I'm going to put some big rubber feet on the bottom to, uh, to control that. But, um, let's see if we're in frame. Yeah, we're in frame. Okay, uh, we're going to turn the ignition on. Um, there is gas in the gas line, so I'm pretty sure it'll fire. We'll turn the ignition on and we'll pull it over and see if she starts. doesn't have a butterfly valve in it. It's really only capable of one speed. And uh, I mean, there's a, a small variance in running, but it, it, uh, it has no butterfly valve. So the air and the, the, the fuel mix here, and there's one sweet spot that it runs out. I hope I run that. But you can see the intake valve opening here. Ever so slightly, it's being drawn down. Let's see if you get a close up. Take valve right here. Okay, we'll shut it off. We'll back out here again. I'll be uploading um, some stills, still images of the various phases of the build process to my channel soon. I probably took oh 50 or 75 pictures of the build process here, um, machining, how I mounted various components into the into the mill and into the lathe. Uh, I'll be doing that soon, so you know, take a look for those on my channel if you're interested in that kind of thing. And also take a look at my other videos, um, or perhaps subscribe. This was a great project. I got a lot of satisfaction out of it. I will be showing it this summer at the Canandaigua Pageant of Steam in upstate New York and at the Alexander uh, engine days in uh, near Buffalo. So thank you for watching and uh, I hope you enjoyed my video.